Let's go, my name's Dan Kiesling, and welcome to a mini, mini, mini series on No Man's Sky. After we did a relook at with the foundation update, with which introduced base building and freighters and whatnot, uh, I wanted to give it another shot, right? So there was two stipulations. Number one, um, we had to be able to get into the control settings and adjust our mouse sensitivity. So uh, there was actually a hack... In, uh, according to the Steam forums, you can edit a, a file and, and adjust your sensitivity. And I appreciate those people that did that. I'll put a link in the description below. So now I'm using the mouse and keyboard and it's a, it's a little bit more manageable um, in terms of... It's a lot more smooth, right? So I like not a lot of mouse sensitivity and that kind of uh, it works for us. So we're going to focus right away on base building, which for us, there's our home base. We're going to need to uh, go back into space and get some some iron so I do want to reiterate this is just you know we're just gonna shoot a few episodes see how it goes this is not gonna be a, a 300 episode series like a star citizen but nonetheless we're gonna have some fun with it and I'll try to build our base up or at least get a chance to explore that a little bit more and where it goes from there who knows all right so we're just gonna go here and uh, get ourselves some iron and stay out of trouble but I do like the sensitivity is way better. So I have it set at 69 just by chance. And uh, iron is the key to life here, right? So at least do our base. So we're going to get as much iron as we possibly can here. A little harvest station. And I think this is an interesting game, right? So if you if you approach this game like a survival game and not like the, the all-encompassing space sim that everyone's been waiting for since the dawn of... Wing Commander 2, I think there's a chance. This, this thing's got a chance. At least for us and on this channel. I think, I know, I, it'd be safe to assume a lot of people won't give this game a shot, and, and rightfully so, but for us, we are. We're at equal opportunity, especially because it fits the channel so well. And it's fun. Well, fun asterisks. We don't know yet. That's got, that's got to be the number one thing. Anyways, enough breaking the fourth wall. Let's go ahead and collect as much iron as possible. Speaking of I think we get, we're going to harvest a lot here, so let's squat up, destroy everything. And it is nice to be able to control the ship in a controllable fashion, right? Because when we used the the Xbox One gamepad, it was really difficult. At least in terms of adjusting the sensitivity. But this is a little bit, bit more in, in control here. So we want to build a straight corridor, but we're going to need a lot of iron to do so. And I'm hoping the Stamian, Stamian? Uh, comes in handy. So let's take a break from, from this and see how we do in combat with our adjusted settings here. Okay, where are the Hostiles at? On the way, we might as well squat up more iron here. Where are the hostiles? Space battle system conflict detected. Freighters are being attacked. Alright, let's go help them out. Let's use our... a radar, perhaps. There, there they are. Look at this. We got, we got control, boys. Alright, so these guys... A little bit of... Okay, now let's target up. How do we target here? Let me check my controls here. Just because I don't know the targeting system just yet. At least for the keyboard mouse. Activate torch. We don't care about on foot. Uh, is there a target? Fire weapons. Roll right. A and D. Exit ship. Initiate landing. There is no. So I guess we just have to scan. So there's no targeting system. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow. But for us, let's just try and help out the squad here. It's like, how do we know who's who here? These guys are all unfriendlies. I hope we're attacking the right guys. See a blue bad? I guess it's these clowns. 
I do like the diversity in ships, and I think that'll be cool for from a procedural standpoint. You know, you gotta imagine all these ships are generated through some set of deals here. But yeah, this is way, way more controllable. Dang it, boys. Which is good, unless we wanna go for the red dots, which probably makes a little bit more sense. There's just so many of them. I, I thought before there was like a... Like a skull icon, but I guess we'll just get whatever we can. So we'll go after the blue target, though. That seems it should be red. Nonetheless, let's set no starships incoming. These guys running. There we go. I, don't know. I hope these are the. See, red makes sense now. Oh. Hang in there, boys. There he is. We're gonna have to G Hill up here. Hang on. How do we heal up, heal up real quick? Uh, deflect your shields. Oh, I just burned our iron. That's all right. It's for the better man. All right. So may there's another distress signal. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but for us. Let's flip around and go get the red guy. I hope the red guy is not the sentinel. He just torched us. Hang in there, boys. Nice. Give him the ultralight beams, extra mail. We got him, boys. A wing down. Raiding freighters for cargo. Escape sentinel ships. The sentinels are after us. We must have killed the wrong guys. Mistakes were made. We may have to get out of here, boys. You learn the lesson, you do the do. Local distress signal. Let's just get the heck out of here, boys. Beam up. Okay, so we're going to get out of here and just... We'll let them deal with their own situation. The only issue with that is... No! No! No. That's Gabe calling. Death by Sentinel attack ship. So that's not... We didn't... Sentinels are the good guys, right? So Sentinels come when you attack someone that you're not supposed to attack. So we're learning. Now that was a little bit painful, but... Uh, that's what happens. So I, I did want to... Did we lose all our iron? We did. Welcome to No Man's Sky. Where iron is the currency and life is the commodity. Alright. Uh, where's our... Is this our home planet? Abandoned building. Habitable base. So the other thing we want to... We probably want to save up for is we want to save up for a save point, right? So that, that way I think we can just zap back to our base if necessary. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully fly under control here. This, that's kind of cool. Where's the asteroid beams at, though? There we go. Okay, cool. So let's, we're going to go back on that harvest game and probably learned our lesson. So the other thing that you're able to do is so we can set up farms, which will probably help for some local flora and fauna and some resource gathering. Because I think that that's appealing to me as well, right? So we can set up a self-sustaining resource center. And then the other thing is we'll be able to buy a freighter that hopefully will help out with this sort of thing as well. I don't mind doing this in the early game stages. For sure, I think this is fun. It's a good way to kind of get used to the controls. But down the road, it would be nice to have... Uh, people doing the Emerald Legacy work for you. So Emerald, I think this is fairly rare. Also, we can upgrade our ship and hopefully get better weps, etc., etc. Alright, good. So we're, we're looking for... I think our goal should be 200 iron. Once we get 200 iron, then we will squad up and 
Go work on our base, because that was what we set out to do. Little asteroid shooting. 101. Also, I'm guessing our base, our home base is our home base, right? So even though we died, did that reset? I guess we'll find that out as well, but... Home planet base, okay. Back to we hit Z. No, Z doesn't do anything here. Okay, good. So we're gonna get a few more ducats of iron to use in our Duracell batteries. And we should be good from there. Get price that is iron. Put ourselves in a position to be successful here. Alright, where are we at here iron-wise? Ooh, 200? I wonder if we should fill our tank up. I know it's being greedy, but just get a little bit more here. Abandoned building. Where's our home? I think our home planet is Russian. You'd be like, damn, what are you talking about? Your home planet's Russia. We're on a planet where someone already discovered everything, right? So they named our hometown Russia. Or our home planet Russia. Right, I think that's plenty for now. Let's go system scan. Undiscovered. I wouldn't mind handling another distress situation, but for us, let's go find our home base, right? So now how do how does one do that? So let's go into our controls here. And we'll go galactic map, perhaps. Does it show us where hometown is? Free exploration mode. Path towards galactic core, which is like the end game. Path towards Atlas Interference. Okay, so we got some decisions here. But where is our... <clears throat> our home's gotta be... There's that. So there's two dots here, right? So there's... None of that says home. So it's home... Is that it? We may actually have to go there. Arrive in two hours. So I just see those two home icons, right? Look at this. Look at that, boys. We just thread the needle. All right, so let's go here. We're going to... We'll go to the habitable base. And we're going to get there in 22 seconds. I'm, I'm kind of happy that we didn't get a... Tempted with a freighter. Oh, this has got to be our home, right? With our freighter deal. Wait a second. Okay, we're almost there, boys. Alright, get ready to jump out. You already discovered this. This has got to be our hometown, right? That's crazy. This is, I mean, even just the scale of this game, right? So when you take a step back, like, this is, we're literally, this is literally a globe. Like, there's no, I mean, I'm sure there's some, some tricks on it, but for us, I think it's our hometown. All right, so let's get as close as possible. And this is, to me, what has a chance to make this game special, right? Like, look at this. That was pretty seamless. And the other thing I've noticed from... Uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. I say it looks like less pixely when they introduce it, but... Coming in hot, boys. I actually want to try and land this thing a lot closer than... Than where we did last time. Alright, so where is... Where'd she go? Where did she go, boys? That's not where we want to be. That's the abandoned building. Where's our hockey puck? There it is. Habitable base. Hang tight. Wait till we get over it. Now we drop it. Drop it now. How close are we? Ooh. Just nutmeg the goalie. All right, what do we got here? So now we should be able to build, right? That was the... The end goal. Let's get to Hockey Puck U. Back. Back home. Okay, good. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and see what we can 
build here. So I, I kind of want to build a save point first. 50 platinum and 100 iron. So I wish you could like figure out what that does, right? So construction terminal. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's build our save point and just see what this is. We got, to, we got to put it outside? Oh, is that just a... See, I want to be able to, to warp, right? So... Signal booster. Communication station. Cool. I mean, this is exciting. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what all that stuff does, because literally I have no clue. But for now, let's go. It wants us to build a... Straight corridor. So where do we want to put this? So I'd like to go out, cancel this for a second. Where is our door entrance? I want this to be like impressive when we squat up. So we'll go straight corridor. Can we not place it out here? Oh, there we go. Oh, so you can't. Yeah, no, you can do it. Place it. We did it, boys. Available to build. So we can build 15 of these. We believe the first, the first of many. Wait, Rambler. I thought we'd get something for squatting up. So let's go, let's put another one here. And then let's go, let's put a T-pose here. Actually, we could put a quad pose. But let's just do a T-pose for right now. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. There's a lot of stuff to do here. So let's go structure. T pose and I don't I'm not against cra like building I think it's kind of cool but where's the how do we rotate the T pose we want it to be like that there we go okay good so now I think we need color mode oh we can change the colors boys nice we'll do it a red one. So I'm trying to figure out where the heck we are here, but let's get... Let's see where the heck we are. Because there's our... S build a cylindrical room. Okay, so you walk in here. You take a left down Emerson Way. Oh, that's just the end. We need to pop that open, boys. Cylindrical room is next. Alright, so what do we got here? Glass roof corridor? Cylindrical room. Let's put it off the back side. It's the observatory, boys. That's where you crack open some non-alcoholic scotch. And let's place this right here. More info, I. Ooh, okay. The core module for base construction, construction providing a generous central space on which to expand. Let's place it. All right. Look at this. This is our freaking theater room boys at a construction terminal which must be staffed by a builder okay construction terminal this is going to say right here so you walk in you want to be impressed when you walk in ah we're just going to put it behind command central can we go color Ooh, we can change the color palette let's make this Make it perp. Perp and gold. The construction terminal requires a skilled builder for operation. You can recruit builders and space stations. Construction terminal. So we gotta hire someone to work this thing? I feel like bad boy street team. I couldn't work the locks. Alright. Recruit a builder from the space station. And I think... Let's go take a look at this from the outside. I know it's a little bit chilly out here. It's the beginning, beginning stage. Whoops. Stages of Matt Damon and the Martian. He's building a facility out of potatoes. I mean, we got to get a better ship. I mean, that's slightly embarrassing. But for now, look at that. I kind of want to see it from high above. That's red one over there. All right. I think this is a great spot. 
to end this first, excuse me, this first part of the mini-series. In the next episode, we're going to go get a, recruit a builder. But I'm pretty excited. This is, uh, interesting. Let's just wipe the, wipe the hype away and roll through what we got. If you guys enjoyed this video, clicking the like button helps out a great deal. And also, the success of the series depends on you. I'm having fun with it. Uh, but if you guys want to see more, one of the best ways you, you can uh, let me know is type more in the comments. And, uh... Any tips you guys may have, uh, please let me know in the comments below in terms of uh, what you guys want to see. It's always enjoy playing these type of games that are open-ended um, along with you guys and with your input. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.